What's going on Team Perfect? This is Castle Perfect and today I'm bringing you a Wi-Fi battle versus Arthur. Um, as you can see his team is pretty bulky in my opinion. He's got the Toxic Stalling Glazecore, the Assault Fest Gudra, the Aqua Jetting uh, Sumerio, the Mega Evolution Manectric, and a pretty much a... What is the name of that Pokemon again? The uh, Poison Dark type, I believe it's called... Uh, Drapion, yes, that's what it is, and he's got an Espion, which is pretty fast, and he's gonna be possibly a special attacker. Now, I'm actually going to lead off with my uh, Dr. Krabs, simply because I thought, like, I have the Focus Sash, so I can pretty much just survive whatever this guy is about to throw at me, so I was like, I'm just going to knock off whatever item this guy is holding, which is most likely going to be the Black Slush, seeing as how he leads off with uh, his, uh, um, what was it again? Uh, <laughs> It's uh, Drapion, yes, that's what it is, I always forget the name of this thing. Uh, so I was like, okay, so he goes for the um, Taunt instead of attacking me, so I was like, I'm gonna preserve the Focus Sash, I'm gonna switch out into uh, Mamos one here, uh, which is going to be Ice Age, and he goes for another Taunt, I was like, yeah, you're most likely going to go for that, so I might as well just get some damage off of you, uh, and I just went for a straight Earthquake, it is super effective and it's gonna be sufficient to take him down, so that is actually perfect, but he still got a layer of Toxic Spikes around, and that is something that I do not appreciate. Shit. So he's gonna bring out the Asumaril here, and I was pretty certain he was about to go for the Aqua Jet, so I decided to just stay in here and deal as much damage as I possibly can before I switch out. Because, like I said, I knew that I was able to survive one, so I was I was I was pretty certain that I was that I would be able to set up the Stealth Frogs later on in the game. So I'm going to switch out now. And I'm going to go out into Dr. Krabs. Unfortunately, I'll have to sacrifice the Focus Sash here uh, because there is nothing else on my team that will appreciate an Aqua Jet coming from my Asumaril, which is most likely going to be Choice Bandit, according to the amount of damage that it did to my Mamoswine. Wine. So I am going to just stay in here, get poison because of the Toxic Spikes, uh, get a little bit of damage, or quite a lot of damage actually, from that Aqua Jet, which is tapped as well, even though it's actually resisted. And I'm actually going to go for a knockoff here to just pretty much knock off whatever item he's holding, which is going to be obviously the Choice Band. Now, he's actually Aqua Jet is not as powerful as before, so I am pretty safe to say that um, you know I won't be able to get too much trouble from that Asumarill anymore uh, from here on now. Uh, so he's gonna bring out the uh, Man Bat, which is gonna be his Gliscor. I'm just gonna go for the safe Aqua Jet. He predicted that, I guess, in a way, uh, because I'm pretty certain like like Gliscor can take at least three Aqua Jets coming from a Crowdon, which is not Life Orb or Choice Bandit. Um, so a pretty good switch in right there to get his poison heal ability activated there. Uh, pretty good. Now he's gonna switch out into a Sumeril. Oh, actually, he's gonna switch back into a Sumeril. I'm gonna swap out my uh, crowd at this point, and I'm like, you know, I'm gonna go back into Gardevoir uh, simply because if he wants to go for the Toxic, I don't really care about that. Even though he has, the, even though uh, he has the Toxic spikes uh, up already, so it wouldn't really make that much sense. But whatever he was about to go for, uh, I was pretty certain that Gardevoir was uh, the Pokemon to take it. Uh, so I am going to go for the Moon Blast here against the Sumeril as I sponge a Aqua Jet. Uh, the Sumeril is pretty much out of the game right now and I'm still looking pretty good I haven't really, like lost a single Pokemon which is absolutely perfect and I want to keep my uh, Crawdons and uh, my priority users uh, for later on because there there is this Magnectric here uh, which is pretty fast and it's pretty annoying whenever it evolves uh, so I need to take care of that first so I'm gonna switch out here into Rhydon and I still haven't given a nickname to this guy but I will um, and I already have a nickname which a uh, person gave me through Twit through Twitter actually and it was pretty cool so uh, he's gonna go for the Mega Evolution here and he is going to proceed to get the Intimidate off on me uh, which doesn't really matter that much because he's gonna go for the over it and I was just like you know uh, Rhydon can pretty much take whatever this guy is about to throw at me and the best two typing moves that Manetric has access to are Fire uh, and Electric obviously because that's Stab um, so I was pretty certain that I would be able to take whatever this guy was about to throw at me except the Hidden Power Eyes which I don't think is running uh, otherwise he would have used that right there so it's gonna switch back into man bat which is going to be his glide score and i'm like yo i'm not gonna stay in i know you're gonna switch so I might as well just pull the double switch here into Ice Age, which is absolutely perfect. It works out in my favor. Right now, I do have the chance of getting the, the Stealth Rocks going on. But before that, I get poison because of the Toxic Spice. I get a little bit of Leftovers Recovery. Then I get hurt by the poison. He gets a little bit of Poison Heal Recovery. And a lot of crap is happening right now. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, I had two options. I could have gone for the Icicle Crash uh, to do as much damage as I possibly could. Most likely going to be ta to take him. Most likely going to be enough uh, to take down the Gliscor, but once again I have uh, Pokemon on my team that can pretty much take care of this Gliscor, no problem, so I just might as well set up the Stealth Rocks here, that might help me out in the long run later on, so I just did that, and he's going to be, uh, you know, recovering a little bit more of HP, 
uh, of his HP because of the poison heal. I'm just gonna bring out my uh, Gardevoir at this point. I'm going to go for the Mega Evolution and pretty much go for the Moonblast here. It does not matter if it goes out into his Gudra because that, that attack is going to be super effective. It is going to deal a lot of damage and not to mention that this Gudra is going to be an Assault Fest one. Uh, which is most likely going to allow him to take that hit much better than it would usually do. Uh, but nonetheless, it's actually going to do a lot of damage. Sufficient to the point where I'm like, okay, this is just perfect. I'm going to uh, pretty much save Gardevoir for this Gudra for later. Uh, I am not going to attack right now, so I might as well just switch out. Um, I don't know what I was actually thinking. I thought like, you know, I might need Gardevoir for later, but now that I think about it, why would I need Gardevoir for later? I don't I don't know. I, I don't know, but whatever. I'm going to switch out here into Flash. The power! And he's basically going to go for the Sludge Bomb. And I am actually kind of getting used to the fact that all the Gudras that I've faced so far lately, um, they all run Sludge Bomb. And I was always questioning myself, why are they running Sludge Bomb? It's not Stab or anything. Then I realized that, that Sludge Bomb is specifically good for Fairy-type Pokemon because it's super effective. And then I was like, Hey, I get it now. So I'm gonna go for the Flare Blitz now, and uh, it wouldn't make sense to uh, to any one of you uh, for the fact that uh, you know Flare Blitz is a Fire type attack. It's not super effective against Dragon, but it, once again it's stabbed, and it I am Choice Band, and I was like, if, even if he goes for the switch here, even if he swaps out his Gudra and goes out into Gliscor, Gliscor will not be able to take two fla Flare Blitz coming from a Choice Band at Arcanine. Um, so I was like, yeah, this is just perfect. I might as well just go for the Flare Blitz. It definitely works out in my favor because he does in fact switch out into his uh, Gliscor, which is going to be taken down by a second Flare Blitz, and I was going to bring out his Espeon. I will need Flash for later, so I am going to save him. And the reason being for why I'm going to do that is because he still has that Magnetric left, and that thing is absolutely faster than anything else on my team. The only way that I can take that Pokemon down is going to be with priority. And so I need to take care of all the other Pokemons that he has left. And I need to keep my Champ around. I need to keep Arcanine around. And I need to keep Crawdon around. So that just pretty much makes sense in a way. So it's gonna bring out, uh, I'm going to bring out my Dr. Krabs here. I'm just going to go for an Aqua Jet simply because there is nothing else on my team that will be able to take down this Espeon without being hit. So I was like, yeah, Crawlant is most likely going to be my most expendable Pokemon, so I might as well just go out into him. So I bring down the Espeon to red health, and I'm like, okay, now it's a perfect time to bring out Casador, go for the Bullet Punch, take him down, but before all that, I might just go ahead and get poisoned because of that stupid Toxic Spikes. Um, but the Bullet Punch will be sufficient to take him down, which is absolutely perfect. I believe he only has one Pokemon left of this. No, he has two Pokemon left. Uh, with a, which I think are the Gudra and the Manetric at this point. So Manetric actually comes out here and he's gonna get the ability Intimidate off here and that is going to lower my attack to a minus one and I'm thinking I need to be in perfect shape if I wanna go for an Earthquake and kill this thing for a guaranteed 100% one hit KO. So I'm going to switch out or basically swap out Castor into Gardevoir. I'm going to pretty much uh, bring out Gardevoir as Death Father uh, simply because I want to get my champ in there with an absolute 100% attacking power, so that minus one attack is not gonna be there anymore. So I'm gonna go for an Earthquake at this point, and um, he's gonna go for the Thunderbolt, obviously, because he's faster. And I was pretty certain that he was not going to kill me unless he gets a crit, uh, and he's gonna bring me down to the point where Citrus Berry is gonna be activated. He does not have the chance of getting paraly Paralysis Hex because I'm already poisoned, so I go for the Earthquake, get a critical hit, which is absolutely unnecessary. Um, it does not matter, he would have died anyways to that Earthquake. I'm gonna get a little bit of uh, poison damage here, he's gonna bring out his last Pokemon, which is going to be Gudra, the Goodster, and uh, he's gonna forfeit the match because obviously he doesn't have any chances of winning this game anymore. And that is going to be the game, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Comment, rate, and subscribe. If this video gets to 50 plus likes, I will be giving you guys a live commentated Wi-Fi battle. And other than that, thank you very much for watching. Keep up the support. Team Perfect for life.